Do you have a radon problem? Uh, do you know if you have a radon problem? Do you know the dangers of radon? That's what we'd like to talk about a little bit today. Uh, number one is don't assume you don't have a radon problem. Uh, even if you have a radon system, don't assume you don't have a radon problem. Uh, number two, you need to understand that every World Health Organization agrees that radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. And lung cancer is an awful thing to have, of course, as we all know. But I can tell you that uh, the World Health Organization also feels that a number of 2.7 picocuries is the, uh, is the action level or the number that you should associate with the health effects of radon. Whereas in the United States, uh, uh, sometimes you hear the number four a lot more often than you hear the number 2.7. I can tell you that uh, my belief is I don't want my family in anything above 2.7 because I believe it's a uh, statistically a much better number for your family. Just remember, very dangerous, radon very dangerous, and also remember that m uh, many people assume they don't have a radon problem, but they do. Uh, we've been in this industry for 22 years and so we've seen the stories, we know the people. Uh, so what I encourage people to do is test your home. Test your home often. Uh, radon does a lot of cycling. Radon does a lot of uh, changing with different weather conditions, uh, different times of the year. And so don't assume that a, a one radon test is going to give you a picture of what your home's actually uh, doing to your family. So there's different types of ways to test radon. This is a simple charcoal device that gives you what we call a short-term uh, number. <clears throat> you can do this a few times for sure. Uh, <clears throat> we like this device also. This one gives you a better picture. Uh, it's a 10 to 30 day test, anytime within 10 and 30 days. Both of these you uh, send in to the manufacturer and they do the reading for you. And so I like the fact that this thing can give you a bigger picture of your home. Uh, it's much more, uh, much more effective to know what's going on from 10 to 30 days than it is, say, for 48 to 60 hours. Uh, <clears throat> also, if you have a radon system, here's a typical radon fan. As I said, don't assume that your radon levels are okay just because you have one of these. Uh, many, many times uh, uh, people still have a radon problem and don't know it. And also, uh, this is a mechanical item. It's subject to failure. We know that many people have fan failure and don't know it. And so for that amount of time, uh, their, fa their family's also in an unsafe environment. Uh, this is called a liquid manometer. If you have a radon system, you're obviously going to have one of these on the pipe, or you should have one of these on the pipe. As long as that oil is uneven, as you're seeing here, then your radon fan's working. But if that oil level drops to where both sides are even, your fan has quit. It doesn't hurt to check these things once in a while or at least uh, put your ear on the pipe, whatever, because as I said, we meet a lot of people that had no idea their fan has quit. And so uh, further talking about radon and, uh, and how you can determine whether you have a problem or not, we're, we're really excited about these uh, newer products that are that are effectively termed as homeowner test devices. Both of these are uh, uh, under $200 or in the $200 range. And uh, <clears throat> many homeowners are buying these. Uh, number one, uh, you can test your radon long term and short term are the terminology used. So you can know what your radon's doing uh, each day. And uh, <clears throat> quite truthfully, if my radon is failing in December, January, and February, but it's making it in the summer, I don't care. I want it fixed. And so this will give you uh, graphs and, and opportunities to see what your home is doing. Both of these have been real handy for us in, in helping learn some things about radon. They're, they're just extremely valuable to measure, uh, to measure what's going on in homes. We're seeing, it, we're seeing indicators that many homes will make it during a 48-hour test, but, uh, but certainly uh, in a dangerous level on the long term. So these things are available. They're, kinda, they're, they're really nice because you can monitor your radon levels at any time. Uh, but the bottom line is, um, you need to retest. You need to test your home for radon. Uh, we're a mitigation company. If, if you test for radon and your home fails, uh, also professional testers can also test your home. But if your radon fails, call us. If you're in our area, we'll, we'll give you an estimate to fix it. If we're not in your area, we'll try to provide you someone that can fix it. Uh, but you need to understand that you can't assume you're in a safe environment, you have to prove it, and you have to prove it more than once in your lifetime.
Thank you.